Good everyone. We are back again today. We are so, so today we'll be doing factorization of quadratic expression using formula method. So in this place we have using formula method and yeah I'll first of all explain this like explain this equation. Yeah it represents the first coefficient like the coefficient of this x of this base yeah it explain the second coefficient of the base two and here is the constant what is zero so here yeah, using formula method so the formula the met you using formula method the formula of the formula the formula method formula is minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a so this is formula this is the formula method so we'll be treating this equation using the formula method which is this equation so at first we identify each of the value identifying the a a which is the one which is the coefficient of a square which is one and the coefficient and b the coefficient of the second one which is which is two and c the constant which is minus 15. So we are putting it to this equation to get to solve this quadratic equation. So we have x equal to minus two plus or minus the square root of two, which is bracket minus four bracket one bracket minus fifteen over two a. Two, sorry, okay, two. So, yeah, we have minus two x go to minus two plus or minus the square root. So, we have the square root, the rest and two raised power two, we have four minus multiplication of four, one and fifteen. 4 multiplied by 15 is, is 60. So we have minus sign here. So the minus sign we have to my, multiply this one so it will change to plus. So you have plus 60 over 2. 2 multiplied by 1, we have 2. So we have x equal to minus 2 plus or minus the square root of 64 all over 2. So we we'll we we'll find the square root of sixty four, which is x equal to minus two plus or minus the square root of sixty four, which is which is eight divided by two. So in this place, we have to slip this two, which is the plus or minus sign. So here yeah, we have equal to minus two plus eight over 2 or minus 2 minus 8 divided by 2 so here now we have minus 2 plus 8 which is 8 minus 2 and we have 6 over 2 or minus 2 minus 8 is minus 10 over 2 then we have 6 over 2 will give you will give us 3 Minus 10 divided by 5 will give you minus 5. So, x equal to 3 or minus 5. And so, thank you for watching.